Well, well first of all, I have to say this morning flew by. It was, it's, it's engaging to be able to hear uh, uh, all the different witnesses, and there were many and varied, not only by continent, but even by uh, the ministry that drew them to the church. Uh, their authentic witness, though, was captivating. And uh, there's nothing like real life stories. And it, it's, I think, important. And in fact, I think what I'm seeing now is the, the rhythm of this synod is very much uh, helped by the active witness of lay people and of families. Uh, I wasn't sure I'd be prepared for the small group so quickly, but uh, I'm ready to go. I think the first thing I would say is there's a great wisdom to what Pope uh, Francis has done in asking for a double synod. It, uh, not only will it allow for reflection in between and consultation in between the two synods, but it also allows those of us who are delegates and may well be delegates for the next synod uh, to have a chance to allow that listening to touch our hearts. Uh, we all know that, that, uh, that the doctrine of our church is something ha handed on that, that we continue to hand on. There's no question about that. But what does it mean to bring a freshness? And uh, how sad it would be if we tried to come up with some new language or new directions in a, in a way that did not include hearing and listening uh, to the faithful, but also to one another. So uh, I, I guess I'm glad that there's going to be a period of time because I can't say that there's a, a clear direction. Obviously, accompanying people, uh, renewing confidence. There are certain themes that already, I think, are emerging. And when I go back home, uh, one of the first things I'm going to do is just capitalize on acknowledging what's already happening. Yeah, how sad it would be if we, if we forgot all the good that is already happening in, in families living their faith and in uh, people within the church reaching out to other families in need.